People are very aware that the Arctic ice is receding and the summer ice is about half the extent it used to be about 20 years ago. What people are less aware of is the thickness of the ice is also reducing. And again, that's about half the thickness it used to be. So there's a quarter of the ice in the Arctic in the summer that there used to be 20 years ago. We're looking at the hazards of Arctic ice to shipping and infrastructure up in the high Arctic in the far north. We're going to be taking robot submarines, which are called autonomous underwater vehicles, and we're going to be putting them under the ice and using them to look up at the bottom of the ice and see what hazard that ice might pose to infrastructure and pipelines and ships around the Arctic. There are a couple of examples of where this uh, service would be useful. One might be ice piling up on the side of an oil rig, and that's a big safety issue. So you can't send a person under that rubble, it's too dangerous. So sending an autonomous underwater vehicle to study it and gauge what the danger is helps you deal with it. Another example is the opening of new shipping routes. For example, the Northwest Passage will shorten shipping routes, which will save oil and speed up delivery times to the UK. And that shipping route will be threatened by icebergs. If we can make sure that shipping route is open for longer by understanding what the ice threats are, you'll use less fuel supplying the goods to the UK economy and help the global climate. Thurn Group is going to be working with Cambridge Polar Consultants. Thurn Group provides operational expertise and systems expertise, while Cambridge Polar Consultants provides the research base and the knowledge about the ice that is needed to make this a success.